Hello, this is Disappointed Frog, and you're watching the build process for a ship inspired by the revenge on Our Flag Means Death. Now, this isn't a perfect replica because the ship in the show is an architectural nightmare for me to try to understand. There will be a link to the download of the build in the description, and with all that being said, let's get started. The first thing I did was get a basic structure using wool for how I wanted the base of the ship to look. When building more organic or rounded shapes like this, I like to think of it as almost carving or sculpting into the build, where I place a base flat outline of the blocks down and then add or remove blocks as I see fit to give that organic shape, which I do by placing orange wool as the base of how tall I want the ship to be and what shape I want it to fit it in, then using gray wool to shape it into the orange section to make a 3D base of the ship. The next thing I did was add more details to the ship that was not in the base section as before. Using this picture as reference, I tried to emulate best I could in a medium sized build because to get more detail in the patterns or texture, I would have had to build this double the size, and I thought this would be best as a mid sized build that I could maybe use in survival one day. The grading I used for this build is made out of gray terracotta, dark oak planks, spruce planks, coarse dirt, granite, and jungle planks. The majority of this build is out of brown and red giving that worn wood type feel because I thought that really matched with the pirate theme and just how ships would look in this time period in general. Finally adding the last bit of detail using composters, deep slate, and spruce fences to give a guardrail to the build, jungle planks as the flooring, and both prismarine and warped wood as blue accent blocks similar to the Revenge's accent colors on the show. For the sails, I used stripped dark oak for the poles and wool for the sail, which I did in this draped pattern because for the life of me, I cannot figure out how to make the banner part look good as if it was just hanging. Overall, this was a really, really fun build to do, and honestly, I am just really excited about it. I've watched Our Flag Means Death twice, and um, it's kind of like been my new obsession to try to build a pirate ship. For me, never building a pirate ship before, and this being like the first time I built something in this kind of organic feel, I think I did pretty well. As you can see, the gradient here goes from the darkest at the bottom to lighter and lighter until you get all the way up to the top. Why I did this is because if you were to put this in water, it would make a water line right here, which would make sense because the ship would be darker the deeper it is into the water because it's absorbed some water all the way up until it's completely dry. Along with this, I really enjoyed using this prismarine because I think it gives a really nice accent block. And ironically enough, as much as people hate jungle wood, I think it really does match with the prismarine. I think it gives a really good complementary colors. One thing I didn't do in this build is I did not make an interior interior because um, I hate interiors. I probably won't do an interior for this build, but I think that if you guys really want to, since this is uploaded online, you guys can always make an interior for it and probably make it super cool and maybe, maybe understand how in the world our flag means death, uh, their layout works for the ship because I could not figure it out. I could not figure out for the life of me. And that was one of the biggest issues I had with this build is trying to figure out where everything went because this would be that one big room that steed is in and then down here would be like all the other rooms but also up here this is supposed to be down further like this should be like down and then out there was there was a lot of things i did not understand at all about how this ship was constructed so that's why i say that this is more inspired by the ship than actually the legitimate ship because oh boy i could not figure out how that layout was but i hope you guys really enjoyed this build and i hope you guys really enjoyed the video and please if you liked the video like it and subscribe if you're not already subscribed because i'm planning on doing a ton more builds like this based off of other franchises and tv series and with that being said just remember i may be a disappointed frog but i'm not disappointed in you have a great day and bye bye